Hello everybody, welcome back to our brand new map. So, I filled in just a little bit since you guys have been gone. If I just move the camera over here a little bit. Uh, I feel like the lighting doesn't look as good. I don't know what happened. Let's look, let's look from this side. Okay, that's a little bit better I suppose. But yeah, I filled it in just a little bit because I was... I just wanted to edit like a few little bits like the roundabout there. I added in a few more bits and pieces here and there, so we needed lots of people because we do have a lot of people trying to work over in these areas, but we still do need to add in more people. So let's exit first person mode. There we go. So let's have a look. Actually, let's adjust the lighting just quickly. There we go. Bit of a shadow. That's better. So yeah, so I just added in some residential, that's pretty much it. I added in this second train line just because if the train stop stops here, I don't want any passing trains to have to wait. Um, so I would have added that in, but I just forgot to do it in the first episode. Um, I added in a couple of Russian-style buildings just to get us started with. And uh, that's pretty much it, I think. Did I do anything else over here? don't think so. I added in these roads, this building, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So for this episode, we're just going to continue on with this area and I want to do some farm lands up here. Just not, not too much. Like we have these, this little plateau terrain thing right here and we can use this space up here as well. And I want to put just a little bit here, like one little road of it. And then probably the last thing I want to do is put in a tram line. So I was thinking, since since trams are really popular in Russian-style cities, the tram, it probably won't be too long. But it's definitely a start to the whole city, the greater city. So the tram, it'll probably just go like along here and then like just up here and then connect up to the industrial area. And since the in industrial area isn't too big, I think we can get away with putting a tram line on the road with all of the trucks but like if this industrial area was a lot bigger then I would not put the tram on the road because obviously that's going to be a huge traffic issue but I think the tram will probably just go to about here uh, I don't know if I want to put it up in here but yeah since since we're right at the end of the map I'm not going to expand it anyway so I know that there's not really going to be a traffic issue and um, this area here the tram will probably cross here but this whole area there isn't that much traffic in general and like any traffic that wants to go here there'll be other highway connections up here wherever so so yeah this area should be pretty quiet and then with the tram as well it's going to be even more quiet so i also added in a little crematorium i added in the clinic and that's about it so i want to add in some schools now um Actually, I got this church, but I think that also doubles as a high school, so maybe we could do that to save some space and time. But what else did I download? I've downloaded a few different little assets, but I want to go through all of the comments that you guys suggested on the last video, because a lot of you put um, links to a lot of Soviet-type buildings, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So I need to go through all of them and download a lot of different stuff, but I do have some of them now. So what is this one? This is a high school. It's a high school, high school, that's an elementary school, and that one kind of fits in as well. And then this one is also an elementary school. Let's try this one because I think I, I use this one all the time. So let's have a look at this one. Maybe, can we put it, maybe we can use up the, a whole block. Let's put it here because the tram line will go along here, so it'll make it really easy for them to get to. So let's put it there. Let's have a look at it. It's okay. It's basic, but fits in. What's this say? Can't even see. Oh, too far, too far. Oh, I can't read it. <laughs> it's in Russian. But yeah, let's go out of it. And let's also put the high school here as well, just to keep it close together. We have the Russian high school. Is that one too big? That one's also really big, but it fits in the whole block nicely. Let's have a look. Maybe I'll just do that. I mean, that's okay, I suppose. I mean, it's right on the on the road as well, so it's right right next to the tram. Um, so in here, we can probably put in some parks, I suppose. What do we have? We only have the generic stuff at the moment. What is this? That's a parking lot, I think. 
Maybe we can just put in this guy because it's a plaza with trees. Can we put it like that? Maybe two. Is that okay? Let's just do that. I don't mind. And then let's just put in a few. Actually, no, let's put a parking lot here because they do need somewhere to park. So let's use the one that I made, that one right there. And then let's put in some little ones right there. And we have this little space here, so why don't we just put in a shop? There we go. Okay, that is good. And let's update the road for the tram now. Where is it? So I don't know where these assets came from but I'm using this one which has a tree boulevard but then it also has space for the cars to park as well which is really handy so yeah so I really like the look of that one and we can continue it up here where the road boulevard already is but I always wonder like in real life because I don't really catch trams but is this too much of a sharp turn for trams so I don't know let me know if you catch trams Maybe for this area, when it goes into the industrial area, we'll use this one because at least the trams have that dedicated train line, a uh, tram line space, so it won't really interfere with the trucks at all. But I kind of like down in here how it mixes in with the cars. I don't know why, but I don't know, I just like that. I kind of don't know what I want to do up here. I, for some reason, I thought the trams couldn't cross over trains, so I think we'll just make it loop around. Nothing too special. We'll just put like the stops will be on the road anyway so let's use the just that one tram line we can use the one way one actually so let's just loop it around it's going to demolish a few things but that's okay i suppose um like that i suppose it looks very very unprofessional doesn't it but you know what, it's it's only just for it to turn around, and we are way out in the suburbs, so we don't need anything too fancy yet. So, and then we do need to add in the tram depot, but we have this space here, so let's use that. Put that in right there, so that's good. And why does that say it's not connected? Okay, let me, let me redo the road. Which one was I using? This one. There we go. Okay. So the tram will come all the way over to here. And then we'll have to do a little turning point for it down here. But actually, let's just do that now. So let's get this one. It'll probably just... We can probably just do a straight road. Is this flat or what? Does it slope down? It slopes down a little bit. Let's just go like to there maybe. And then we'll just do a very, very basic loop again. Obviously, if this was like in the city area, I'd be doing something a lot more fancy. Oh my god, that looks hmm, not too bad, actually. But yeah, if this was in the, the more downtown area, I wouldn't just be doing something super basic like this. But since we are so far out in the middle of nowhere, I'm not too fussed about it just yet. So... Is that going the right way? So it goes that way. Okay, that's good. So I think we can add in a tram, but I, I did download a different tram uh, asset, I think. No, that's not it. But I can never work out how to use this thing. It's, it's always really complicated. Uh, which one is it? I downloaded this one, but I don't think that's very Russian, is it? Yeah, I don't even know how to do it. I have to watch a tutorial again how to do it. Okay, okay, let's add it in. Let's get it going. What am I doing? What am I doing? Where is it? There it is, right there. So we can put one... I don't know what the roads are doing down there, but let's put it here in front of the primary school because that'll be a bit better for them. We can add one underneath. Uh, is that okay? We can... Mm, I wish I could put it closer to the train, but it just doesn't really fit in very well, does it? We can put one up here in this residential area, one down here, and then we can put one here because it's kind of near the shops, one here, and then one at the end, and that's it, and then it loops back. So it's not very long at all, but once we uh, expand all of the rest of the city, this tram line will connect to basically everything else. Because with the Russian cities, they often do have a lot of tram lines. 
so this city will have a lot of tram lines so okay, let's go have a look I don't know wh why do I feel excited <laughs> oh it is the new one that's good yeah at least it's not the generic one. Oh, look the older new one that's good shall we go for a train ride then let's go shall we fast forward then okay we're coming up to the, the big oh look at that building it looks so ugly <laughs> Okay, we stopped at our first stop. It's just a quiet residential area. It's probably going to hit that car. Another stop. I just like all the mountains everywhere and all the trees. I don't know, it's just so nice. I like I like that they whoever created this map, they used a lot of the really big trees, which is something that you don't see a lot because I think I never used it because the trees, they are quite big and they don't really fit in with a lot of type of maps. But for this city, it really does work all together quite well and look at that we're pretty much at the end of the map already well the end of the train line already like that was really really quick so I don't know that's that's pretty good then but yeah like I said once we expand the rest of the city this will connect up to everything else and it's gonna be quite a long tram line once the city is done like from this end it'll be connected all the way right up to the other end where the basically where the ocean is so yeah I can't wait to ride that tram line that it's gonna be really really long but yeah let's exit the tram now there we go hey what's he doing we don't want him goodbye I only want the fancy one oh I thought that was connected I thought it was a really really long one but it's not um, we don't want you goodbye no 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 I really need to learn how to use this mod actually how many tra trams are coming out there seems to be a lot how do I look at it there's seven I feel like seven is too much I think maybe four or even three because it's such a small area like this that looks like way too much so, are they not disappearing why are they not disappearing when I said I only want three what are they doing? Maybe they'll drive back. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really? Oh my god, that's so much. Whoa, that's a really big capacity too. Like you'd only need one. Four hundred eighty-two. Oh my god, I didn't. I didn't edit that. By the way, that was just how it was. That's crazy. That's oof. Okay, let's work on this area over here. So what else do we need? We need the basics. I haven't put in the basics, so let's just put in the fire station. Can we fit that one there? That's good. Can we put the police station? We need to download some more Russian type buildings for sure. And do we have a little hospital that we could put in? That's not a hospital with this one. Do we have one? We don't, but we have a clinic. So that should be enough for now, I guess. And we definitely do have a lot of demand for shops. So let's put in some, put some in this area because this is such a horrible little intersection right there. We'll use this space because it is quite close to the train. So obviously no one's going to want, want to live there. And we can put some here as well. Like so, put some along here. And then we can maybe... You know what, let's just fill in this whole area. There we go. That's their shopping area for the whole little town. And let them build. Do we have water for over here? Yep, we do. I did that already. And let's just fill in. There we go. Turn all that on. Let's just put in the remainder of these roads. Just go like that. Actually, no, I'm not going to connect that road there. And notice I didn't connect that road either because it would create such a little intersection between the two, which, you know, I don't like at all. So, uh, there we go, just like that. Don't want it so close to the water. Oh, why is it doing a little bridge like that? God, I hate that. It's so annoying when it does that. Look, why is it doing that? You know what? There you go. Ugh. Okay, I'm seeing like a million trams right now, so I'll need to fix that up in a second, but let's bring... Why is it doing that again? Oh my god. Okay guys, I got a little bit carried away <laughs> just then, but um, 
So I added in just a few little buildings. So this little estate here, um, I added in this building here. I overlaid it on top of the shops. So then it's kind of like mixed use development. And I added in these buildings here. So this one, just to make it a little bit different, I put it off the road a little bit, added in some parking spaces spots and if you're not familiar with the Russian type cities they do have a lot of parking everywhere but obviously I'm not going to go to that extent because like that's a lot of parking and I don't want to waste so much space so usually for me when I add in parking spaces it's mainly just like a filler because otherwise I have to fill it in with something else that's more detailed but yeah so let's just zone the rest of these as low residential let's let's press play there we go and like I don't want to put in too many of these apartment buildings just yet because we are still not near the downtown area yet so but obviously as we build towards that there's going to be more and more popping up but we don't we don't want to go too crazy just yet so there we go and we need a lot, of, lot more people because we have a lot of people that are needed in this big commercial area. There's a lot of people needed in this big industrial area as well. So, but it, I guess it's good that we have the interstate train that can stop here and they can probably get on the tram around about here or here. Yeah, so, but still we need a lot of people. How many people actually work over here? So, we still see there's a thousand workers needed, but there's only not even 500 how many in this one yeah so that we can see there's still a lot of people that are needed how about in I guess we can't fi find out in that area but let's let's zone this uh, not zone it what is this called again what's this called make a district Ugh. oh my god I can't believe I just forgot the word for that let's have a look household household workers 750 497 okay we're getting there slowly we're catching up but I guess that's that's when these apartment buildings are good because you can put in so many people such a so in such a small space. So 14 households in that one, 14 that's the same building. What about this one? 24, this one 22. So yeah, they're pretty good. How many people going to the school? 337. That's quite a lot. 190. So the the primary school is pretty much at capacity. And I'm probably not going to worry about putting in a uh, a college or university just yet because I'll do that maybe in this area here when it starts to get a little bit more dense. But yeah, so yeah, oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to add in some farm area, so let's do that now quickly. It only take a few minutes to do, um, so let's do that, and then just a little bit up here as well. Uh, let's downgrade this road here to a dirt one. And oh, imagine if a boulder came down. Oh, splat. <laughs> okay, a little bit of farming. Just up to there. That's good. And then, I, I don't know, should I do another road here? I don't know if I want to. We can continue this road here, dirt road. So I want some to go down along the front near the water. So if there's a flood, they would go under. But I mean, it happens, I guess. So let's do this little farm area. Actually, no, I don't like that design. Don't like that. So let's let's slowly bring it up the side of the hill. There we go. Is that too steep? Nah, it's okay. It'll do. And then maybe we can bring this one up like that. I think we'll do. I think we'll do it like that. Okay, that's good. And then is that too steep to go like that? Nope, that's good. And uh, let's put this one like this. I like the farm roads to be kind of wavy because it makes it have a more natural look in my opinion. But I mean, I guess like American style layouts of the farms, you'll see a lot of the time they are just a lot of straight roads, but I find that quite boring. Okay, we have no demand. So let's just give a little bit of demand. Click, there we go. And then, uh, I don't think we've chose, no we haven't, so we want farming industry, and I did put down this as well, so let's just do it again just to make sure that I did it. You can see the colour is there already, 
Okay. And now let's just zone it. But when I zone it, I don't want to do it really um, clumped together throughout all of it. Like, see, I'm leaving spaces because I want it to... I want to leave spaces for trees, pretty much. Actually, let's not make it too close to these buildings, to that residential area. Put some on either road as other. We'll put some on either side of the road as well, just like that. And then we'll do these guys as well. Different sizes, so it's not all even. Makes it look a little bit more random. And there we go. There we go. I think they need water. These guys need water. Okay. Let's go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oop, there we go. Let's see. Yeah, they're really close to the water, aren't they? Oh my god. Let's see. What do we have? We got a baconary. Beef cakes. Beef cakes again. Popular. Bread and beyond. Oh, are we flooding? What was that? Oh, we're flooding, are we? Maybe we need to. Let's. We need to save the farmers. Oops. Extend this out a little bit. Oh, that's why. Actually, maybe I like that. It's like a little dam. Hmm. Okay, let's just leave that, actually. You know what? To make it even look more realistic, let's add in a little bit of, like, gravel in there. Can we? No? There it is. It's too much now. Ugh. Huh? Whatever. There we go. And then, ugh, let's just add in a few trees. Excuse me. Come on. There we go. Add in those trees. There we go. Add in. And then let's put in the big one. And then that's that's pretty much. Oh, that's a lot of trees. And then that's pretty much just wrapping up the whole episode. But like, we need a lot of people. That is for sure. Because I'm not even going to press play because there's such a demand for people right now. We need to build and build and build. Like, we have a lot of people that are wanted in this area now. Look at those fences. Wow. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> but yeah. So, next episode, maybe I'll extend over into this little bit here. But, like, I don't want to rush. I don't want to rush the whole thing. Even though we have a lot of... A lot of space to work with, even all the way up here. But yeah, why do I feel like I don't want to rush it? I just want this to be done really, really well. But yeah, I'm happy with how this looks. Oh yeah, I forgot to add in a church. That's the last thing I forgot. So let's see, church. We have the medieval, and then we have this one. What about the medieval one? Where should that go? I guess it's okay. Is it? What's the other one look like? Maybe it would fit better. No, it's too big. Mm, I'll think about it. Let's just leave it there. Anyway, that's all. <laughs> that's all, you guys. How many trams do we have now? Let's have a look. So there's one there. Let's go down two. Should be only three. Right, okay. Wait, that's two. Is it? Is that two or is that one? I can't tell if it's connected or if it's just really close. I don't know. Well, it's saying it's saying it's the same amount of people, so it must be connected. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, that's all. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, don't forget to leave a suggestion as to uh, what we should do in the next episode. But, ugh, don't you just hate the, the, the yellowy colour that the farmland brings? Ugh, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all possibly tomorrow. Okay, bye for now.